Bluffing is a huge part of poker. In fact, it's an essential weapon in every player's arsenal. Oh, oh my God! Just all the list. Um. Here's the top five who've transformed the skill of bluffing into an art form. Is this real life? <laughs> this is just not, does this happen to me? At number five, it's Vanessa Selbst. No one folds lightly to Vanessa because everyone knows that Vanessa is aggressor. On the big game, she tangled with Antonio Esfandiari. In this hand, she's bet the flop and the turn, but Antonio isn't a believer. Can Vanessa sell her story on the river? Vanessa could have been semi-bluffing a five on the turn just as easily as she semi-bluffed her diamonds. She's met adequate resistance from Antonio the whole way, so I'm fairly certain she knows she can't win this pot by checking. So the question is surrender or fire one last bullet. She's loading up. And Vanessa fires 59,700 on a stone bluff. There it is, the over bet. We've been here before. This bet is supposed to polarize Vanessa's hand. Nuts or air. And Antonio can pretty much only beat air. This would be an absolutely sick call. Vanessa could very easily have played a huge hand the same way. 59-7. 59-7. By overbetting, she's given him really tough odds to make the call, not even getting two to one. Is a pair of sixes gonna win enough to justify those odds? Not likely. Antonio with 119,000 behind. He's probably still thinking about that check raise on the turn. If she had a big hand, would she really have given him the chance to check behind? Finally, and people discount this more than they should, Vanessa has the stupidity factor in her favor. If Antonio calls and he's wrong, he feels stupid. I think, I think uh, Antonio turned her straight with like a five of seven suited. Yeah. And, what is she and then I think she has a flush. I think she has it. Worst read ever. Well, that's what Prahlad the couch cannon thinks, but it's Antonio's read that counts here. And Antonio Folt, what is going on? Antonio Folds. Little bit dirty on the pump fake by Antonio, but Vanessa, wow, what a sick bluff. Nice hand. Thank you. Antonio may not have thought that one through, but at number four, we find Johnny Lawton thinking long and hard about a very difficult decision at the final table of the EPT 11 Grand Final. Unless he snaps off a five, he's going to have to check. Well, we went four way to the flop, heads up to the turn, mm. which is a four. That gives him extra outs. Now he can catch a deuce for a straight. The question is, he's got to say to himself, what is this guy calling with? Did he really just have a seven suited and not three bet? Well, well now Mateos has to bet. By betting now, now Johnny's got to say, okay, I got, if I call this one, I got to call for the rest on the river. So it's not just like, hmm, we'll see what he's got. Now Johnny's got to think about, well, the bet is only 650. There's three million in the pot. I'm get, I have six outs. Sure, I'm not the favorite, but it's close. You know, I, he's not getting the right price. But it's not that far off. If Johnny's right that he's up against the bluff, his fives are good. Johnny Great call. Calls. Great call from Johnny. He's getting slightly the worst price to draw, but he's also got the possibility of having the best hand. So the bet sizing for Mateos um, allowed him to play this hand. Okay, another ace on the river. That's a good card for Johnny Lawton. And it wouldn't seem like it, but it's one less ace that Mateos could have. Action has been checked to the Spaniard. This is a really exciting hand. I, this is going to get replayed over and over. All in. Oh my goodness. He does it. He goes for it. Wow. This is gutsy. Johnny wants to play so bad. He, his read is right. The question is sometimes, you can tell. Johnny's first instinct, call. I got this guy beat. He's messing with me. A lot to learn about some high-level poker here where it's like you just go with your gut and, and you trust your read. And both these guys have virtually nothing but are playing a massive pot here. What he may end up doing is talking himself out of his read. Oh man, I hope Johnny makes this call. It'll be epic. One of the greatest, if he makes this call, one of the best reads we've ever seen at a final table. One of the greatest played hands I mean, we've ever seen. And this instantly goes to, to on many lists as a, just one of this the all-time One of the greatest calls. hands I've ever seen, if he makes the call. If he makes the fold, it still is a great hand, but it's, it's so much more epic if Johnny makes this call. There oh. goes the fold. And Rob he shows the bluff. so good. Wish he calls, he doesn't call. Get shown the bluff. Ah! He put in so much money uh, in that hand with the right read and then changed his mind. Vaya con Dios.
Back in the day before Adrian Mateos was born, a three bet meant business. A four bet was always aces and a five bet didn't exist. Then along came the internet and button clicking became a thing. At number three, a German wunderkind with an interesting haircut takes preflop leveling to a new level. Contrary to what Benny might think, this isn't a mandatory three bet or even a mandatory call to an early position raiser. Did you really think he'd fold? Benny Spindler three bets. Story checks out. Now 20,000 to play. And hello, Paul Fulton is going to four bet with a six off. OK, so I know I would be an advocate of re-raising Benny Spindler if you have any sort of hand. But A, Benny's not the only player in the hand. B, cold four betting with a six is not a winning play overall. And C, no, just no. So action back on Benny with Bergstrom giving up his pair of fours. Boy, Fulton doesn't look very comfortable, does he? Oh, wait, that could just be because he's British. Now, now. Those are not calling chips. Benny Spindler is going to five bet to 90,000. I guess either King Jack is too weak to call with and Benny wants to turn it into a bluff or we're just seeing a good old fashioned stack swinging contest, which by the way, doesn't necessarily equate to good poker, though it is awesome to watch. Fulton has an auto marked. He does have the best hand. Got to wonder if he knows it, though. Oh, my word. It's a six bet. There is some serious button clicking going on here. I'm not even going to pretend like I know what these guys should or are going to do anymore. I'm out. All right. Now, I know a lot of you kids out there are spitting up your energy drinks and fist pumping in your hoodies like mad. But to me, this is more like a game of chicken than poker. Who will blink first? Colin. Not Benny Spindler, it's a seven bet jam. Fulton has now invested half his chips on this hand. Gotta wonder if he's regretting it now. Oh my word, this is the sickest hand ever. Benny Spindler shows the King Jack at the end as he rakes in that pot. Benny Spindler went on to win the EPT8 London title. The year before that, Daniel Negreanu stunned the table with one of his favorite party tricks. Daniel is determined Angel Small River Bet is a value hand that Kid Poker can't beat. Although it's hard for him to rep a hand, he's bumping it up. Yeah, aces or kings? Can I say that or is that illegal? Heads up. I can say what he has but not what I have. Okay. I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. Daniel really pulled the trigger correctly on that one. And Shlomi's now thinking, if you've read me for Aces or Kings, surely you can beat Aces or Kings. I have to fold. If I show one, do I have to show all? No. Okay. okay. I can show one? You can show one. I can show one if I want to? I don't feel like it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I, got, I don't have a good one to show. Aces or Kings was good, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what I thought he had, but not that I could beat it. Daniel knows how to entertain the table, but for max entertainment, you have to show the bluff. At number one from Shark Cage, Miss Finland Sarah Shafak pulls off the best bluff of all time on the very first hand. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ronnie, if you bust her on the first hand, he bets. 30,000. And Sarah raises with a straight draw. Do you have something? Yes, I do. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. 30,000? Yeah. It's the way all my relationships start with lies. So Ronnie has called the race and improves to trips on the turn. Oh, boy. Why are you checking? <laughs> you raised me on the flop. Um, uh, num num. She bets just over half the pot. Ronnie, do not bust her before the swimsuit portion. Ronnie's clock is running. Remember, every player has 30 seconds per decision. If he thinks she's bluffing, he'll call. If not, he could raise. The oh, clock. Yeah, I forgot Did that. Raise. <laughs> raise, 155. 
155. She really should not be calling this. 255. She re-raises. What? Okay. I'm not used to those yet. <laughs> really, huh? 255,000. Yes. Ronnie calls, which means we're going to the river, and that means the cage is coming into play. The board bricks out for Sarah. She has just ace high. Check. She's bluffed every street so far. All in. And she shoves. She slides out the bluff card. <laughs> oh, oh my God! How is this happening? I thought it'd be. I wanted to stay and play with you, Miss Finland. I understand. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Ten seconds, Ronnie. Wow, I like that. He's playing a time bank chip. He gets an extra thirty seconds. There's a reason why it's the. Finish reputation, right? I have a four. He shows her his hand. You know, I have trips. I don't know if I can fold this hand. I don't know how you play. I've never played with you before. <laughs> what is going on here? If I fold this hand and, and they see this fold and you have like king queen or something, it's gonna be the most embarrassing thing ever for me. You understand this, right? <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't have any time to think over this hand. I'm like nervous. I don't know what's going on. It's nice over oh, there. 300, 500. Oh my God, that's 600. Five seconds. And Ronnie's folded. Holy shnikes. It's a bluff. Show. She has ace high. Ronnie, you're going to the cage. <laughs> oh. He cannot believe it. I was really scared. Oh, my God. You're really scared. Oh, what? Is this real life? <laughs> <laughs> that just, no, that just happened to me? I almost had a heart attack. Awesome. Wow, that Thank was fantastic. You, that was you got awesome. some balls, wow. girl. I could have two million chips. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good lay down. Oh, my God. Rumor has it Ronnie is still in that cage crying. So those are the PokerStars top five bluffs. Keep an eye out for more countdowns on PokerStars.tv. Holy Would you fold in my hand? <laughs> <laughs>